incredible. Um, on the um, on the op tempo, like we've talked about, you said the heavy lifting years, oh three, oh nine. When they're when the hunt for Zarkawi is on, who frankly might be the biggest scumbag the world's ever everyone talks about bin Laden. No one really talks about Zarkawi because people my age don't even know he really existed. When when they were hunting him before they got him, what was the tempo like? I mean, was it every day you're doing a hit? Is it once a week you're doing a hit? How fast are you guys going when you're in the hunt for him? So yeah, it, it sort of ebbs and flows. And when that started, I think I was coming through some sort of training, but it was so big that it was talked about, you know, back home. And then it got to where after we got, you know, Hussein and and everybody one after another, it wasn't such a big deal, but it was like talked about, you know, Intel briefs when you were back, you know, cause you rotate, you rotate a few months and usually, you know, you didn't know so much what was going on over there. Not guys at my level, you know, enlisted middle of the team, team leaders and up, they would know the real stuff, but it was big. Cause we were talking about it at home. And, um, this guy, you know, he didn't, um, <laughs> how did Saddam Hussein or well, Saddam Hussein didn't die. He should have, you know, he didn't fight. Bin Laden didn't fight. Right. Dark how he did. I mean, he didn't. And he's also the one cutting heads off and then playing the, you know, the audio and the video. So yeah, he was <laughs> just straight up evil. I mean, and I, I wasn't there for him. That was a different group of guys. My friends got him. They got him good. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the, the tempo was, so when you get closer and closer and, you know, you're building up to him and by the way, they may not be, they may not fight like Germans or Japanese, but the Middle Easterners have street craft skills way beyond ours, you know, cause that's how they grow up, what they know, what they do. That's their culture. They can blend and mix and, and, spread intel and and uh, stay hidden they're just superior to us in that so it's a challenge as we get closer to somebody like Sarkawi, it gets you can you, you know you can tell and then it's you're out from you know nine o'clock at night till sometimes noon the next day if you're really you know you'll stay out to, in daylight if you have to but you're trying to get home at night but it's two three four five hits a night you know because one leads to another and that's the process. That's how it works. The, the follow on hits. I am fat. I'm really fascinated that you brought up kind of their ability to blend in. I interviewed a mm -hmm. CIA agent on the very topic and he said, Zarqawi's trade craft and ability to avoid detection was the best that they had ever dealt with. He said it was incredible. The trade craft, this guy, you know, not using certain phones, always being on the move, his appearance. And that, you know, I think some Americans look at terrorists and like they're a bunch of dumb, sand dwelling morons. That's not true. Yeah. At the, it's just not true. Yeah. Um, that so when you are doing, you know, like you said, you got a follow on hit that might lead to another follow on hit. I mean, how do you avoid getting burnt out? That that's an incredible amount of time and energy. Yeah. Um, well, I think that you know we figured out because. The rest of the army they're doing a year a year over there and they're not going out every night so i think it was just hey somebody's idea like let's let's try 90 days and it seemed to work i call it the road march theory you know if you do a, a six mile or a 20 mile road march the last mile is going to hurt the same same in life the last part finishing is difficult so you know one time we did five months or we did a surge it's just always more difficult at the end no matter how long it is because you know you're you're getting ready to be done so like sports i mean that's where the mental toughness comes in you got to finish and that's uh man that's a whole nother area of scholars and warriors not being separated because you know the, the quote we'll have our thinking done by cowards and our fighting by fools if we divide our scholars and warriors i'm fighting that fight at church right now with a bunch of eggheads and i have to remind them but uh yeah I, I want 